All right, real talk here. So I've been struggling with letting go of things. I think I've been, you know, I, I had a, a harder day yesterday where I was pretty depressed and just feeling hopeless, right? I was, I was feeling hopeless about the YouTube channel and all the things I'm doing in the business and, you know, what is even the direction I'm going. And, um, and I was a lot more optimistic today. I, I think that I had, uh, you know, I, I was originally gonna do a video talking about how I paradigm, right? Or not the paradigm, but the interpretation, what was I gonna call it? The, the way that you see things, <laughs> what is that called? The uh, uh, perspective, perspective is everything, right? And, and it really is, I mean, you know, having a different perspective today I'm hopeful. I, I see things in a, in a good light. But what what I actually realized, I was talking with uh, a gentleman today who has a lot of experience in transcendental meditation and teaching people things like that. And I won't go into the whole conversation we had, but it was really interesting. Maybe I'll have him on the YouTube channel or something at, at some point. But one of the things that just became clear from that conversation was this idea of letting go, like letting go of the expectations, which, you know, obviously I teach you guys this and I, and I do this, but, but letting go of the outcome of things and, and, the, and not just even the outcome of things, but just letting things be right. Just accepting whatever it is. And again, I've talked about this a lot of times, but sometimes you can talk about things, but then putting it into actual practice it's something difficult, especially when it's your life, especially when it's things that you think are important that are affecting you. When it's things that are not so important or when things are going well, then it's easier to be outcome independent, right? But the thing is, when things are, are a little bit difficult, right? When you're, you're worried about, let's say, even your financial situation and things like that, then, you know, th then it becomes difficult. It becomes difficult to just let things be what they are. And, and it's, it's kind of the same thing. It's, it's you know, I, I've been thinking about this with this, this YouTube channel. You know, I'm uploading these daily videos, but I really need to make videos when I feel like making videos, which it's not exactly that, but when I'm inspired to make videos rather than feeling like I need to make videos, right? And it, it's not even that. It's so much as, well, what... Um, this gentleman was telling me about, uh, his name's Michael, so we'll just say Michael, was how we're so wired as humans with this flight or fight response, right? And so everything is sort of falling into into one of those categories. It's either flight or fight. Like we're, we're, we're constantly, uh, what was the word that he was using uh, for outcome? He was saying, or attachment. It, it's like invested. It's, it's over the sea. I can't remember what the word was, but contingent contingencies right we have these contingencies like we're expecting things to go a certain way or not go a certain way and if they do go a certain way uh then we're happy and if they don't then we're not and it's like we want this outcome from from a thing right and so you know i could i could i could tell you about this 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 youtube channel these youtube videos right it's like i'm i'm entering into this mode right the reason why the joy the happiness is is disappearing from recording some of these videos is because I'm trying to do something. <laughs> I'm trying to do something instead of just being a thing or even trying to be a thing instead of just being the thing, right? If I record this video and I, and I don't have an expectation of this and I'm just, just talking to you and just sharing my thoughts and what I wanna say, then then that is, that's the correct thing. That is, it, it, if there is an even a correct thing. But but what I'm saying is that so much of my life has become this sort of outcome dependent thing, right? Where I'm looking for something, or I feel like I need to do something, right? I need to do something has been the striving, the the driving force of my life for a long time. And I almost, and I, I've kind of taken pride in it, right? I need to do that. I need to, right? I'm at the gym right now. I'm going to go lift weights, you know, but they're, they're sort of, you're not going to have freedom as long as you're caught in this flight or fight, as long as you're caught in these contingencies, as long as you're caught in this expectation, this dependency on, on an outcome coming a certain way. And I know this, right? I mean, this is not something that's unique. You've heard me say this before but how to actually internalize this, how to actually apply this. How do you say, 
it doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter if my business fails and shuts down, right? If the Bulldog Mindset fails, ultimately. If no one joins the Bulldog Mindset membership anymore, right? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, <laughs> right? <laughs> How do you say that? How do you say if, well, what if you can't make the house payment and you have to like sell the house and, and move to a smaller place? Okay. <laughs> you you kind of got to be like, all right, that's okay. It's cool. Everything is going to be fine, right? Doesn't matter. It, it's almost like it's also it's like, you know, <clears throat> emotions. What if someone's upset with you? What if they're not behaving the way that you want? What if it's like, you know, again, I've been through this before in life. When I hit this point where I said before, right, I did this video about synthetic spirituality, right? And this is kind of the continuation of that. But, but I hit this point where I did become very outcome independent in the sense that I just let it all rip, man. <laughs> I was just like, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. And that's not quite it. It's not quite doing whatever you want to do, especially when you know that you're going to blow up your life. And so, hey, it's all going to shit anyway, so you might as well just have a party, right? That's 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 not what I'm talking about here, right? Because that is a way to do it, but it's a synthetic type of spirituality that, that, that I was talking about there. But the, the real way is like, it's like acknowledging now and letting it go. And it's like, I'm on the edge of this, right? Like, can I do this? Can I just stop? Can I just stop? saying that like having these things that matter to me have them matter like stop having them matter right <laughs> and just do can i just do can i just be right and i think from that standpoint i can have the clarity of, of what do i actually want to do right and maybe yeah and maybe there is like a reduction of, of things that, that needs to happen i'm sure there is i'm sure there's a simplification i'm sure there's a direction Right? But it's hard to know what that is when you have the flight or fight, when you have the dependence on this outcome, when, when you have a specific outcome in mind, when you need to do a thing, when you're, you're fearing the worst. It's almost like you have to let go of that fear of the worst and just embrace that, right? But, but then you also sort of think about like, you know, am I, am I just gonna drive myself off a cliff? Like that's, <laughs> you can't just be like, all right, I don't really care what happens and I'm just gonna do whatever. No, there's some practical constraints. Like you gotta do what's smart, right? You just gotta be like, you know, I'm gonna do what's smart, what, what makes sense to me, uh, even if it's a calculated risk. And whatever happens, that's okay. I will deal with, with that, but I'm gonna go all in into to what I'm doing because, you know, I've, I've talked about it before, the analogy of, I remember when I was a kid, I used to, there used to be this ditch, right, in the back, like, where this where we used to play, you know, this is this big ditch, and there was this, like, th this woods behind the housing area, and there was this graveyard there, and we'd go, we'd go check it out sometimes, this old colonial graveyard, I don't know if anyone even knew that it was out there, yeah, maybe we discovered it, but when we'd go over there, right, sometimes across this ditch, there'd be some boards that you could climb on but it's a big ditch right and there's like some water in, in the bottom not, not a huge amount but it's a, it's a good drop down there but the ditch was maybe i don't know i want to say maybe like 10 feet wide like the you know and you'd have to jump across this ditch right and it, it was just at the limit of what you could do right as as a 10 year old or you know, 11 year old boy right and so man i remember you, you would like sometimes you would go to run across this ditch, right? And like you're running as fast as you can. And as you get closer to the edge of that ditch where you're supposed to jump, you freak out and you panic. And so you slow down instinctively, you slow down and you, you jump, but you don't make it because you slow down. And the way to make it across that ditch, because you had the ability to do it, I had the ability to do this, was I had to run as fast as I could and not slow down, commit 100% to it and just fucking blast and just jump, right? But you got that instinct to slow down, which which makes you fall into the ditch. You, you, you'd be better off if you didn't even jump, right? And so why am I saying this? It's because when you have that sort of, the, the possibility of falling, when that is the thing that is in your mind, the possibility of falling, you can't run as hard as you can. You can't jump as hard as you can. You can't jump as far as you can because you're afraid that you're going to fall. And I've been afraid to fall lately. I've been afraid to fall. And, and some part of me wants to just blow it all up so that I don't have to be afraid to fall. And that's not it either. Right? I'm like, if I could just reset, if I could just start over. No. 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 It's, it, it, the answer is to stop being afraid to fall. Stop focusing on the fall. 
to accept the fall, to be like, okay, if you fall, you're gonna scrape your your elbows, maybe scrape some knees, maybe there'll be some blood, but that's fine. Because you can get up, you get back up, and, and you'll be all right. I don't know, for some reason, I, I've, I've been good at telling myself that I'm not gonna be all right, that I have to do this because I'm not gonna be all right. But w when you've been whipping yourself with a whip for such a long time, pretty soon you're just like, you know, like that, that kid that's like, is that all you got, dad? You're getting spanked? <laughs> like, uh, like I, I don't even care anymore. You just go ahead. You know what I mean? Till, till, till dad's like, shit. Like, now I'm just getting fucking mad, just spanking him out of, you know, like, <laughs> like I don't know if you experienced that as a kid or not. But, you know, if you ever, if you ever said that. But, but, but there, there, there comes a point where the, the rod, where, where the, it, it doesn't matter, where you're just like, eh, whatever, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't motivate you. And so, I've been I've been tooting that horn too long. I've been threatening that rod too long to myself to force me to go forward where I'm just like, nah, I, it doesn't even push me anymore, right? And so the answer is to stop, is to stop. To so stop trying to push yourself to do the thing. It's to, let, it's to become free. It's to let go, let the outcome be whatever it is, accept whatever the outcome is, and then do the thing that you're going to do and just run as hard as you can and jump and that and that's it and because that will allow you to be free to do that and so again this is easy for me to say here right and i'm hoping by saying this by making this video that it sticks it's already here but that it sticks here that it goes down that i swallow this pill and i digest this pill and it it becomes a part of me again because like I said, I know what it feels like to not give a fuck. It feels good, right? But it, there there has to be some constraints on that, right? <laughs> I'm not going to go out and just do what I did before. That's not, no, that's not a good plan. <laughs> not a good plan. Not a good plan, right? But at the same time, what's it like to be free? Like to not care about the outcome. To just be like, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to live life. <laughs> right? It doesn't matter. Whatever whatever ride is in store for me, that's that's the ride I'm gonna take. I mean nothing really, really bad is gonna happen. You know what I mean? But in my mind it is. So what what am I not willing to accept? I guess that's a question I'm asking myself. It's like, what am I not willing to accept? I'm willing to accept anything. I'm willing to accept getting, going broke. I'm willing to accept relationships ending. I'm willing to accept any any of those things. Like I'm not gonna be the facilitator of, of those things, but I'm, I'm willing to accept those things. So, I mean, why not? I don't know. So something, something is making me fear. You know, fear is a driver. Fear, something's making me fear those things. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I know it. I know it here, right? But, uh, can I, can I get it can I reawake? I, I think part of it too is like being in public, like doing this in public, right? It's like, I got, I got things to uphold. I'm bulldog minds. I'm John Sonmez, right? It's like, people depend on me. You know, you have an expectation of me. It's hard, it's hard to, to let go of all those things. Of who you were, right? Of who you think you are now to just be but I'll take some time I'll figure this thing out gotta put it into practice gotta keep on trying gotta keep on letting go until there's nothing left to let go of without blowing it up that's the secret that's the key that's the hard part if you're willing to blow it up then that's that's a different thing so I don't know if this was useful to you or not but <laughs> click the link down below join the Bulldog Mindset membership Let's talk. Let's 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 go over this stuff. Let's uh, let's figure this out. See you tomorrow.